We're going to the vets. This bump on his lip just started getting bigger. Um, she was saying it could potentially be something like So that was not very good news. Iniciando ruta, da vuelta a la... Good morning, so it's 9 a.m. And I'm starting off the vlog at the nature reserve. I'm gonna do a reptile survey this morning, but first, gotta get your potassium in there. By the way, I tried this new look today, but it doesn't look good. I just look like I have a really bad comb over. So I don't know if I'm gonna do this ponytail again, but I tried. I'm trying to venture out and do different things. So yeah, today is like semi-busy. So I'm volunteering today until 12 or however long it takes. And then I'm getting a pap smear, which I'm so freaking nervous about. I've only done it one time before because I'm 28 now. And the first time you do it in the UK is 25. And I'm just not looking forward to it at all. I'm just like, oh. I haven't vlogged for a hot minute. I think it's been like two or three weeks since I've vlogged, like a daily vlog or a weekly vlog, whatever I'm going to call this. I went to Scotland over the weekend, which was so, so beautiful. We went for a scuba diving trip. We were getting qualified to be a sports diver, which is um, the next level up from just like an introductory scuba diver qualification. And there's someone parking right beside me and there's so many empty places, this is so awkward. I just hate that. So we, we did our qualification at two different locks. I didn't realize, by the way, that locks were connected to the sea or it's seawater that's cut off from the sea. So it was salty and it was like such a weird experience scuba diving in like salt water because you're more buoyant, you float more. I didn't really vlog because it was just jam packed the trip and I was in close quarters with a lot of people and it was just gonna be really weird if I vlogged but I did get some like little clips. So I will insert that now. By the way, I also saw a comb jelly when I was scuba diving. Like I've made TikTok videos about it and I've had so many papers about these comb jellies. So if you don't know, they're like these tiny little animals that look like jellyfish, but they're not. They're like their own different phylum or group, whatever you want to call it. So they're transparent, they look like jellyfish, but they have these little cilia hairs that move and they look like little aliens because it just reflects the light and it looks really cool. Come on, if you guys pause this video and just Google comb jelly so you know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, so I was like having a little freak out moment. What else? Oh, I also, like my first two dives were really bad because like I said, I wasn't used to scuba diving in the water, in the sea water. And I lost my flipper in the sea. And then I also um, kept flipping, like doing somersaults like deep in the water because my weight wasn't distributed equally. It was all going to my feet. I would be like diving and then all of a sudden I'd be like, whoop, and my feet would be in the air. And then I'd try to like catch myself, but I'd be upside, oh, upside down. And it was just so bad. <laughs> but the next day my dives were okay. So none of us got qualified unfortunately though because there was like a really bad current. So the dive leaders were like, no, we have to cut the day off. Like we can't allow you guys to swim in this. It's too dangerous. So we had to stop. So unfortunately I'm not qualified. We'll be doing another day. I don't know when it's gonna be, but it was a really cool experience anyways. Like 
I never even thought that I would ever visit Scotland, but to actually go to Scotland and dive in a lock was really, it was just like a weird moment. It was just weird how your life takes you places. You can't really predict what's gonna happen in your life. Anyways, I'm gonna go put on my glasses so I can see. And what time is it? Ooh, 9.07. Okay, that's good. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm talking about because you probably watch my videos. But if you're new, I'm doing a survey like around this big national... National? Is it a national park? It's a, it's a big nature reserve. And I volunteer with like a group of other people. Um, we all have like our own set days when we come out and we do a survey to see which reptiles are present in the area how many there are, where they're located, just to see like the distribution and how they're doing. It's been a bit annoying though. I haven't really been looking forward to coming here recently because I've been volunteering for like two months now and I've only spotted one reptile and it's almost July. Whereas last year, I just saw snakes everywhere. Now it's just, it's a bit weird. It's not really a good sign and I like scrambled through everyone else's notes because we fill out a little sheet when we go in and we like you know, mark on the map where we spot a reptile, how old it is, etc, etc. Um, and nobody else has been finding any, so that's really weird. So I don't really expect to find anything today. I'm just going to walk around and just enjoy it and meditate or something while I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh my god, I look so sweaty and gross. <laughs> it's like walking through a jungle in here. Ooh. I have to lift my feet up. So I'm getting some good some good leg workouts right now. By the way, I didn't realize that I wasn't thinking this morning because I put on my white shoes and <laughs> yeah, I don't think I gotta say anything else. Shoes. Just looking for these little survey things. Oh, there's a dragonfly. Can you guys see it? The little blue thing? Can you feel it? Cute! There should be one around here, but I couldn't find the other one because it was so overgrown. I have a feeling I will not be able to find this one either. So there's like these little refuge mats that are scattered throughout the entire park. So I have to- oh there it is! Mm -hmm. So these are like- I forgot what they're for. Roof, but they get really warm. So snakes and reptiles seek them out. Because they're warmer compared to the environment. Uh, anything? Nope, just a spider. The sad thing about England- it looks so wild here. But there's actually like a motorway right there, so it's really loud. Do you guys remember this? I don't know if you guys did it at your school, but we would take these and make a kaju sound. I'm gonna try it. I think it was like this. You put it in between your thumbs. And as straight as possible, you can go... Hold up. Close! I'm close! <coughs> Let me try another one. <coughs> <laughs> yeah! <coughs> this one really feels like a jungle, you guys. Oh my gosh. Here we go! I have a literal entourage around me of mosquitoes. Oops, really zoomed in. I can't even count how many there are. I think there's like literally, if I stop, 
He's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm going. Anybody else have that kind of blood where mosquitoes just go crazy for them? Because that's me. Like, literally, my whole arm. When I was in Scotland, they have these tiny mosquitoes called midges, and they are everywhere. I don't really encounter mosquitoes too often, but when I do, they just love me. I think it's because I eat a lot of bananas. Oh, that's a cute. Oh, there was one of those bees that look like, or sorry, flies that look like bumblebees. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's too much now. You guys are crazy. Ah. Ah. Okay, I can't. I can't. He's probably like, bitch, first thing in the morning, you gotta film me. Let's turn on his light. Carl does this cute thing when he wants to drink water. He like starts to open the tip of his mouth. Do you see that? You probably can't see, it's quite hard. But watch this. You can always tell he's ready for a drink. Get it, Carl. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> I don't know why it's coming out so slow. There we go. He's so thirsty. Cause he didn't drink yesterday, silly. Uh oh. That's a thing where sometimes he doesn't drink and then the next day he just drinks like crazy like that. Good job, Carl. <laughs> just finished doing my makeup. Carl is literally begging to look outside. But I have to leave in like 15 minutes. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna let you come out for 15 minutes, but you can't, you can't stay out longer, Mr. Handsome. Can I give you a kiss? Close-up action of Carl. We're taking him to the vets tomorrow. It's because he has this bump on his lip that he's had for quite a while. I don't know if you can see it right here. And it's just really red and flamed, and it even started to bleed like a couple days ago, so we're gonna go get you some medicine and then fingers crossed that heals it, right? too much perfume why did i do that so today i'm going to manchester because i'm gonna be getting my hair cut so i haven't cut my hair since i got my hair chopped off a year ago so like last time i went i got like a blunt bob up to here to get rid of all of my dyed hair i'll link the video down below if you haven't seen that vlog or that video of me growing up my natural hair color but it has just been like very blah it's all one length it's just a blunt cut, a lot of split ends, and I'm gonna go for like a cute 90s layered look today. I'm really excited about it. So my train is coming in like four minutes, so I should probably just go. just got into Manchester. It's actually quite quiet today for Manchester. But I'm gonna try to find some breakfast because I haven't eaten yet. I think I'm gonna go to Tim Hortons. I wonder if they have vegan breakfast here. hour and 
until I have to go get my hair cut. So I'm just gonna walk around. I think the first place I'm gonna go is Primark. Stop. Dude, they have a Central Perk cafe here. I don't really watch Friends, but this is actually pretty cool. That is so cute. Already had a coffee anyways, so we're moving on. We just on the road to the hair salon, but we're gonna be going here afterwards. This is called Afflicks, and it's like apparently a really indie, whatever you call it, I don't know. But apparently it's really cool. I've actually never been there before, and I've lived here for how long, which is crazy. The thing that I love about Manchester too is like everything is just red. Like, look at all the buildings here. Blockbusters, what is that doing here? Thank you so much. You so cute. So I just went into this um, this store here. I sent Francesco a picture of this guitar because he's absolutely obsessed with SpongeBob. And all I did, because he was like, can you go ask what brand it is? And if, if it's a good brand, I want to buy it. So I walked in there and he's like, no, 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 don't take a picture of it. We need to take a picture of you in it and he'll be more enticed to buy it. So now I have a bunch of pictures of me on my phone with Spongebob. Let me show you. One so. <laughs> that was the sweetest shop owner I've come across in a long time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my hair appointment. It's in 10 minutes. because it's blowing but I got some long layers with like a tiny little curtain bang and honestly it just feels so much better Ooh. okay so now I'm gonna go to Affleck I'm just mindlessly browsing. I used to collect these as a kid. Not Yu Gi Oh! but like the Pokemon ones. Oh my god, I used to have that. 599! I should have saved my collection. Wow. This one was my favorite. Lugia. I can't believe they're selling for so much. I used to have like a fat stack of these books, like filled with these. I could have made so much money. Okay, let's move on to the next door. Incense holders. That's a pretty one. Series one, episode one of RuPaul's Drag Race. Ooh. This guy terrifies me. Okay, so it's now two o'clock, and I've been in here for like over an hour or an hour and a half. This is actually a really cool place to come if you ever go to Manchester like there's so many stores there's like so many really cute things to buy I just bought a little snake earring stud which is super cute I'll show you guys later in my bed Rule 1 of living in England you must always even if it doesn't look like it's gonna rain you must always bring an umbrella we go going out Ooh. Okay. 
the burger. Oh my god, is this 100% vegan fast food? That actually looks so good. The mac and cheese. I think we should go get some. Let's go. Sadly, they don't have the mac and cheese that I saw outside, so I don't know what to get now. They have like shakes, salads, and then burgers. I think maybe I'll just skip it then. I don't really know what to do. I think I'm probably just gonna go to the mall and maybe try to buy some clothes. I really need I really need some new jeans because I literally only have one pair of jeans and it's just awful. I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for... Oh, they're having a sale. Okay. Just got myself a bra from Victoria's Secret, which was very, very, very long overdue. They recommend to change your bra every six months, but I haven't changed mine for like three years. What time is it? It's three o'clock, so my train leaves in an hour or less than an hour. So I'm just gonna go see if I can find some jeans really quickly somewhere. And I wanna get some panties as well. I just got home. I'm just in the parking lot because I'm about to go grocery shopping. Here's Asda, or I mean it's Aldi. By the way, Aldi is where I shop now. It's super cheap. I've saved like 10 to 15 pounds per groceries every time I come, which is crazy. Like I'm so annoyed at myself that I never knew about the cheap supermarkets in the UK. So yeah, I'm gonna do a big food shop. This person's looking at me. Do they think I'm leaving? Well, I ain't. I ain't, buddy. I'm going in. Bitch, I'm going in. I'm a go hog. Okay, by the way, it's like chucking it down. Chucking it down. That was so British. It's raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. So, yeah, we're gonna have to run. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. There's like this security guy staring me down, so I think they're gonna tell me I can't film in here in like two seconds. These are so good. These are the battered no chicken balls for a cheat meal. Mm -hmm. I just got home. It's six o'clock. I've been out literally all day. I thought I would do something that I used to do in my old videos, which is give you guys a haul of everything that I bought. Before I show you that though, I want to show you guys the earrings that I bought from Afflex. Just these cute little gold plated studs, snake style. So I just thought that would be super cute. Anyways, let's start the haul. Let's start with this side so what ended up happening i went to aldi they were like out of stock a lot of things so i had to go to asda afterwards and just pick up some stuff so i'll show you what i got from asda i just put them all on this side so i got some vegan cheese this one's by applewood i haven't tried this one before so i just thought i'd try something different i used to love applewood cheese so i hope it tastes this. also got this which is just corn vegan smoky ham free slices i've never tried this one either so I just thought I would. Picked up some butter beans because I forgot to pick those up when I was in Aldi. And then I also just got some 
vegetable gyozas. I just thought this would be really good to have in like a soup or something for lunch. So got that. Okay, and then what I got from Aldi. So I got some broccoli salad mix. I got two different types. I got baby leaf salad and mixed salad. Cinnamon, some soy yogurt. I got some bananas, some rice, spaghetti. Gnocchi, which is so good. I'm so excited. I don't know whether I should have this tonight or if I should have it with a different thing. So I'm gonna make beef mince spaghetti today. So maybe I should have it with the spaghetti, but I'm really craving gnocchi. So I'll think about it. Then I got some strawberries, cherry tomatoes, avocado. There's another broccoli, some mango, brown onions, some black grapes, cucumbers, some paper roll, oh no, I'm sorry, kitchen towel, not paper towel. Oats, mushrooms, soy milk to put in my teas. Some meat free mints. I'm gonna leave this out because I'm gonna make it right now. Then I got some malted bloomer bread. I think this is brown bread. I don't really know, but it's good. I had it last time. And then for my cheat meal that I'm gonna have in two days, I'm gonna have some french fries. These are so good. And these are freaking delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna put this away and let's start cooking. These go in the freezer. Fridge, fridge, fridge. What you've done by supporting gumball machines. You know, or chicken. So for breakfast, I made myself a yogurt with strawberries, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, however little I had left, and some agave syrup. And then on the side, I have toast with almond butter. Oh, we gotta go in here today, Hansel. We gotta go in here today. He's still coming. He doesn't realize the danger. He don't realize the danger is looming near him. Okay, Kyle, ready? One, two. Oh, don't huff at me. Don't huff at me. You gotta stay in there. Come on. Go on. Oh, good job. Oh, good job, Carl. Yay. Oh, there's a noise. There's a noise. Okay, we're going to the vets. Let's go. Okay, so Carl's in. I've tried to put a seatbelt on this before, but comes off maybe I'll just do it like it's a bit awkward you can't really put a seat belt on it which is annoying oh or maybe you can oh sorry. <laughs> My clothes here we're gonna do the laundry I'm gonna actually do a deep clean of the whole house in a few minutes but it's been a few hours since we've been home I had lunch I watched some TV so I've just been kind of chilling um, I'm not particularly in the best mood because when we went to the vet so just to give like a, a backstory before I talk about it I first went to the vets for this in January because he started getting this little bump on his lip. It was like a tiny little red bump, but it wasn't affecting his eating or his drinking. And um, I just didn't really know what it was, but I wanted to get it checked out anyways, because with chameleons, it's something that is serious. It's better to pick it up before you get any symptoms of like him not eating or him seeming like he's in pain and yada yada yada. So I went to the vets. I went to a girl who's not my usual vet because I don't think the, the vet I normally go to is available. She thought it was stuck shut. So she, she thought it was stuck shut. And then as time went on, it, it didn't get any better. And this bump on his lip just started getting bigger and more red, more in flames looking. Sometimes when Carl would eat food, because it's on, it's right on his lip, it would bleed. So then I made another appointment in April. I saw my regular vet, 
and she was saying that she wasn't sure what it was. It could be something serious, it could not be, it could just be a sore that's inflamed and because it's in that area, like on his mouth, it's constantly getting aggravated so it's getting difficult to heal. So she gave me iodine, which is like an antiseptic, I think that's what it is, and just said to go home, like put it on like two, three times a day, just monitor it. I left it for about like two months. He seemed his like normal self. The bump didn't seem to be getting bigger, but it also wasn't improving either. And so I made an appointment again for this week. It just doesn't seem to be getting better, but he's still eating, he's still drinking fine. He doesn't seem to be in pain, like, it's just very red. So yeah, the vet today when we went, she wasn't like super happy with what she saw because compared to last time, she said that she thought it, it raised a lot. I couldn't really tell because I see him every day, so it was a lot more red. And she's worried that either it's in infected it's like a sore that's just infected so we're on antibiotics now i have to give him a needle shot into his arm every three days for the next two weeks <laughs> so i'm so sorry carl but if it doesn't get better she's a bit nervous that it could be something more serious and that's why i've been a little bit sad because i don't want to think about that but um she was saying it could potentially be something like cancer um if like it doesn't improve Sorry. I'm trying not to think about that right now because there's always a chance that it's not. She says that it could be like pap pap papillomo <laughs> oh my god. Pap virus, like pretty much HPV but for reptiles. So they get like warts like we would with herpes but on a reptile it's just like really annoying and it gets like really bumpy it's really contagious it's not contagious to people no me giving him kisses did not give him herpes <laughs> i don't have herpes or at least i don't think i do could be like dormant i don't know yeah it's either that and it's just in a really awkward spot and it's getting inflamed or it could potentially be cancer but they can't know that without actually doing a biopsy and um yeah, so that was not very good news. And the thing about chameleons is like, they don't live very long, you know? They have like quite short lifespans compared to other vertebrates. There is a positive though. The vet was saying that, you know, for Carl being four years old this weekend, she said that like, He's in really, really good condition. She said usually people come in with four-year-old chameleons and they're like super frail and thin and they don't look good at all. But she said that he looks like, other than that thing on his lip, he looks, he's in perfect condition. Like he's a healthy weight, he has a lot of fat, he's really chubby. But anyways, I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to try not to be negative, you guys. Because there's a chance it could not be something serious. It's just like when she said that word, I was just like, you know, like, uh, I don't know what I'd do without him. Oh my god, I just sound so bad. I have to meet someone in a little bit. My granddad, my granddad sold something on Gumtree. I don't know where it is. So I have to go and meet up with this person at like 6 or 7 o'clock. And I'm literally going to be like... <laughs> crying so yeah i think i'm actually just gonna end the video here because i don't really feel like my mood's going to improve by the end of the day <laughs> or tomorrow but i will be editing this video for you guys so it gets up on monday so i hope i filmed enough but yeah i just like i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna end the video there i will be filming a sit down video for next week so after this is up and then there will be another vlog. So it'll be like Carl's birthday, my graduation's coming up. It's not going to be the next vlog probably, but the vlog after that. I'm also a little bit stressed about that because I don't know what's going on. We don't get our grades for another two weeks. I'm going to be graduating, like going to a graduation ceremony. I don't know 
if I'll be continuing with school or not and like that's a really weird feeling because I don't really know what I'm doing with my life right now like I don't know if I'm going to school I don't know if that means I have to like go into the workforce or like I don't I, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing right now so it's just a waiting game I'm waiting for his damn results fingers crossed his antibiotics works these antibiotics works while wow, the grammar today these <laughs> I hope that his antibiotics work and I hope that I get the certain grades that I need so everything is just up in the air literally two weeks <gasps> hold up hold the f up is it the same day I'll know my classification on the same day two weeks from now whether or not Carl needs to proceed with the biopsy because it's not improving with the antibiotics and whether or not I'm proceeding with my school. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a good news day. So like that just made me feel so much better just talking to you guys about that because I had that in my head all day and I just haven't had anyone to really talk about it. Everyone in Canada is still sleeping. It's like, I think it's 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning. So some people may be awake, some people may not be. I kind of talked to Francesco about it, but he's at work. The thing that I'm learning as I'm getting older, people, is you can't rush. Wait, that's not what I was going to say. You can't, there's no point of worrying about something because no point of worrying about it is going to fix the outcome. Like, I have two weeks. Let's just hope for the best. Let's just enjoy every day. Let, let's not worry about it. Yes, it's very upsetting to hear the word cancer, but it may not be. Because worrying about it is not going to make my life better. It's not going to make his life better. And it's not gonna change my grades. I've already done the work. No battle, no, no battle worrying now is gonna change that, that's for sure. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is really off topic, but I wore like my little earrings today, which I really liked. I love like subtle jewelry like that because you can't really notice what it is from far away until you look close. Anyways, you guys don't care about this. I don't know why I'm talking, but I love you guys. I'm so sorry for about this video and how it's ending, but I know you guys will understand and I don't want you guys to worry about it either. I know you guys love Carl as much as I love him. I will literally do whatever it takes to make sure that he is better. I don't care how much it costs. We have insurance. <laughs> we have insurance, bitch. That is why you always get insurance, even if it's for a chameleon or a hamster or a snake like waffles insurance it's a lifesaver so and don't worry about me either but I'll probably be fine by the end of the day I'm gonna clean maybe play some video games get my mind off of it I've just got a text I was saying that I was gonna go meet up with this guy for my granddad but he's just texting me saying that he's not sure if he can come so I just said okay just let me know so I'll probably just literally chill the rest of the night but yeah back to weekly uploads I was a little bit off that other week because I had my scuba diving weekend and I didn't really get to edit as much as I wanted to but to be honest it's not an excuse so I'm not gonna try to make excuses anymore so back to weekly uploads I'm gonna start editing this video and get it up and I'm literally just blab babbling on I just don't want to turn off the video for some reason um but yeah for the fifth time I'm gonna go. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! Say bye! Mm -hmm.